Hey y'all, how are you? Hope you made it through yesterday okay. The, uh, the eclipse, um, ooh, maybe some of you didn't. Um, I felt great, I don't know. I just like finally for once, I did not have a massive day of crazy purging and healing and crazy energy stuff. I felt like amazing. So maybe things are looking up, I don't know. Anyway, it is Friday, and back by popular demand, I will give you your weekend love reading as much as I try to resist that because I'm not a fortune teller, y'all. I am an energy healer and clairvoyant, clairaudient, etc. So take what I say uh, as basically guidance in making the best possible decision that you can make. Please do not take it as an absolute directive of what will happen in the future because um, this only sort of predicts like the energies as they're, um, as they're happening and then what you do with it is your business. So you have a lot to do with how things actually turn out. I know most of you know that, but I felt the need to say that because for some reason I'm resisting doing these like these kinds of readings. Anyway, um, also it's good to mention that um, I'm drawing these cards for like as many people as could possibly see this video. So it might or might not pertain to you. If it doesn't feel like it fits, don't try to make it fit. Don't freak out. Don't get upset. You're going to know your best guidance is your own internal guidance. So keep that in mind. Okay. All right. So today I'm using the tattoo tarot, one of my favorites. And um, I'm going to pull some cards for um, if you are dealing with some kind of love and romance issue or partner for this weekend. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm still trying to grow my following. And then as soon as I do a little more, I'm going to start doing some live reads um, so that people can come on and ask questions and get cards pulled directly for themselves. But I need to have a bigger following before I decide to put myself out there like that. Because what if nobody shows up? Oh, my God, I would die. Um, so, yeah, please subscribe and share. And comment because all those things help my channel get seen more in the general feed. And then you can find out how to get a reading and the cost of readings in the um, in the information section. And you can schedule a reading on my website, redhoundreiki.com. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I'm suddenly hot flashing. I don't know what that means. all of a sudden oh my god I can't stand it hold on I'm sorry I'm taking up your time by fanning myself with a card wow okay so for this weekend the general energy is the knight of wands so um, in this deck, I love that it's all women. <laughs> if the knights are all women, it's amazing. And um, sometimes I feel like I'm this person. Like this person is kind of um, a firebrand, like a little bit cavalier. And they, um, like, they might rush into things, like maybe a little bit irresponsibly. Um, this is the kind of person that might blurt out something ridiculous and embarrass themselves a little bit, but they always come out looking like, um, like a little bit suave, but also a little bit ridiculous. So you, they're just sort of, I don't know, to me, they're kind of like lovable because they don't even care. Like they're being themselves and they're, um, super authentic to 
their uh, soul. Um, however, they're probably a little bit, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're a little brash. They're a little rough around the edges. And um, in other decks, like he looks a little nuts. So this chick is um, pretty hardcore. Anyway, um, so the overall energies are like kind of potentially rushing into things or like a lot of really passionate energy. Um, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing if we're talking love and romance. Um, potentially exciting. So that's cool. Um, your overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles, if I can pick it up, which is um, an energy of movement, but it's slower, more methodical, um, more grounded movement. So it's not quite as wild as the Knight of Wands. Um, this is like maybe a little more practical and the movement that's made with the night is probably like less um, less off-putting. Like it's easier to it's easier to accept. It's easier to um, this person is less likely to embarrass themselves. Let's put it that way. And um, so, like that's your energy, but it's definitely an energy of movement. Like you're wanting to move forward, albeit slowly, um, in whatever situation you might be in. Um, or somebody, or somebody is wanting to move forward towards you in whatever situation they are in. <clears throat> um, there might be some very practical things to put into place before they can do that. So that's something to keep in mind, but it is coming up for this weekend. So there's something in the energy that, um, suggests that, um, I like this energy. This person is like, um, I want to say still waters run deep kind of like even though this is not water this is earth but that's kind of the same feeling is like they're um, sensitive and they might be kind of on the more quiet side um, or this could be you um, but they are grounded and sensible and intelligent and um, are just trying to make the best possible decisions for everybody so I like that this is a more balanced energy um, even though like the overall energy these days is like maybe not particularly balanced. It's a little bit crazy. So this is a good thing. Um, in the past, you have the page of cups, which is like the very beginnings of maybe some um, emotions or emotional feelings, romantic feelings, potentially. It can also be um, like a first communication, like somebody just sort of barely reaching out to you, kind of making their intentions known. Um, it could be either one of those things. So this is like the beginning of something and it's something emotional. It's something um, uh, with a person who is sensitive and um, is somewhat in touch with their emotions. Like they might not show it necessarily, but this is somebody who is aware of um, how they feel. Um, sometimes this person could, in some cases, this person might be a little bit immature. They might be um, acting out or unaware of how to appropriately express their emotions, but they're there. Um, I don't feel like in this case that anything immature has been done, but... Um, but I feel like that this might not actually represent a person, but maybe just the energy of having um, given some kind of communication of um, affection or some kind of intention of, um, of love or emotion or whatever. So that might have been received in the intention that it was given, or it might have like barely been noticed, like maybe because this person wasn't totally clear about what they were trying to say because it's the page. It's not like a really super developed um, intention. So you're coming out of this situation. Ooh, sorry. I think I must have some kind of messenger on. Um, 
the current energies are here. It's the three of cups and it can mean a lot of different things. I think in this situation, it's like celebration. Like this is a weekend that you may have an opportunity to spend a lot of time with friends or maybe you will have um, a time to spend with whoever you're dealing with, like whatever your interest is. And it's a good time to really relate on a friendly and um, joyful level. So make sure that you're thinking joy when you're communicating and being with people this weekend. To really channel that joy because that's going to raise your vibration and move you into a better place communicating with each other and just in general. Like um, you, when your vibration is raised, they're going to start matching your vibration. If your vibration is all like stress and worry and um, frustration, even if, even if it's with other things, that person's energy is going to kind of like um, react to that and it's going to bring their vibration down and so the whole situation um, can go off the hinges but but in this case I don't know why this picture is not in color and to me it's kind of saying that you need to bring your energy you need to bring your joy into it to um, help bring the entire uh, connection up a notch so this is a good thing too and in your future, for your future energies, you have the full, and that's a brand new beginning, but it's a beginning that you kind of had to set aside like your reservations and step into it with some degree of faith. It's blind faith because you don't know what you're going to get necessarily. You don't know if you're ready for this. You don't know if you, um, you don't know if you even have what it takes. Well, you do have what it takes because the fool is the character in the tarot that moves all the way through the story. Like it starts with this number zero and it moves all the way through and it tells the story of the fool. And the fool has what it takes to to complete the the tarot, the tarot deck. So within you is all of the energies, all of the energies that are um, comprised in the tarot deck, which is every energy in existence basically so you have all that you have everything that you need all you need to do is trust in yourself and trust in the divine you trust in your divine guidance and follow your divine guidance so she's blindfolded here but she's you know holding this flower here and um sort of following her senses i kind of get the like the sense that she's like it's a carrot on a stick or she's following her sense of smell or something like that like she's um sniffing out opportunities um and she's in the light of the sun so she's in the light of unconditional love and um, the guidance of the angels and the creator and and all these good things so she is um she is making that move you also have the snake here which reminds me of like the kundalini energy that that winds up your spine to me snakes are not bad they're good things they're transformation they're medicine they're um they are that primal life force energy. So this person is embarking on that journey of like um, the first steps toward the completion of your um, of your highest potential, I guess. Like when your kundalini is all the way raised, you're opening your channels, you're reaching your highest potential, your intuition is wide open. Um, and so that's what this person is doing. She, this person might even be going through a kundalini awakening. Like, I don't even know. So um, if you are actually going through that, you'll know the symptoms are, are a lot of um, <laughs> hot flashing um, and also like a lot of uh, psychic experiences, maybe more paranormal experiences, um, a lot of intuitive and empathic feelings. Sometimes it can make you feel like totally nuts. Like some people who've had sudden kundalini awakenings end up in the hospital because they think they're crazy and they're not. So I'm going way off topic here, but um, I just felt inclined to mention that because of the snake. If that's happening with you, then that's a good thing. That's an awakening for you. Um, and it only brings you to a better place. Once you have awakened that, um, you could have like partial awakenings. I know I had several partial awakenings throughout my adult life um, until I finally had a full blown kundalini awakening um and so a lot of people are, are hitting the full-blown stuff now and it could be that it was you know after this after this eclipse that just happened um <clears throat> that you are 
really waking up and you're really stepping into an eclipse will start a new uh, chapter in your life and you could be just starting out anew in your um, uh, I guess relationships your life with relationships or a romantic relationship or whatever um, there may be some throat clearing that needs to be done because my throat's getting really raspy all of a sudden and I'm, I'm like focused on this pendant she's wearing even though it's red it's not really it's not really the color of the throat chakra but um, <clears throat> that might be happening for some people right now um, or in the near future because this really falls in the near future so in either case you want to um, be open to this be open to accepting the new and it's going to be a doorway into all of the things that um, into a brand new life like a brand new energy opening up of all of your chakras and all of your potential and all of your gifts um, wow I'm really like blowing this out of proportion but that's what I'm getting out of this card right now so um, hopefully I don't sound too nuts but something is brand new and really important for your um, soul's growth and your mission right now and that might I mean this is a love and romance read but it could be that this is going to fall in another part of your life but be open to it when it comes because this is important okay the final card is the advice card and it's the three of swords and you can just look at this card and see that it's about heartbreak so you're going to have to release that heartbreak there's no room for that anymore like um you you're going to want to Pull the wool out or pull the shade off from over your eyes and just release the energy of disappointments in the past and the um, people who have not treated you the way that you should have been treated um, because that's all in the past all of that served to teach some kind of a lesson um, and so you would have had to have gone through it but it's time for that to be um, released and kind of sort of almost reminds me of somebody going to like a funeral or something like that like it's time for that to be buried that's a dead um not to speak of people's relationships as you know in a disrespectful way but like that energy is what i'm talking about the energy that is left over from that kind of heartbreaking relationship needs to be um released to the afterlife <laughs> at this point it needs to go away so that you can have this new beginning this new beginning and this awakening and this opening that you need to have is not going to happen until the dead is gone um, and so that needs to be released as quickly as possible probably there's like this flame coming out of this heart and if you're feeling a lot of energy in your heart area it's just allowing that flame to continue and to grow and to sort of um, clear out that negative dead energy uh, as as it kind of radiates so just allow that heart chakra to open and allow that energy to move through you so that you can start um, the positive energy will eventually clear out that negative energy because the negative does not really want to hang around with that more positive energy and it's just a complete clearing that's kind of how chakra clearing works is that um, the good energy ends up just pushing out all the negative energy and that's kind of what I'm getting getting out of this so um, it's time to leave this behind this is not your reality you don't have to accept it as your reality you create your own reality with whatever energy you decide that you're going to embody and bring in at any time and then you affect those around you with that same energy so remember that remember to be bringing in joy and let that joy clear this heartache out when you do that you've got this amazing new beginning okay I hope that this was helpful and that you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon thanks have a great weekend